so i joined speed institute and i i focused primarily on the videos in speed app and uh, i i made it a point to revise all the videos at least two to three times and uh, although there was barely any time left for studying uh, almost two hours every day that was also a very big possibility at times because of the hectic schedule but uh, whatever time i could take it out at hand i used to uh, invest that time into was in the videos and uh, i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute and team of speed to dr ashwin gupta for scoring a very good rank of 276 uh, in critical care medicine and dm super specialty in neat ss 2024 session congratulations to you doctor thank you so very much thank you so much great can you tell us a brief background about yourself from where you started till date what you have done uh, i graduated my mbbs in the year 2019 so i done my mbbs from uh, uttar pradesh university of medical sciences in sepri and uh, thereafter i joined my md in the department of anesthesiology and critical care at rml institute of medical sciences in lucknow and i graduated from there in 2023 and uh, ever since then i've been working at the upper post of a senior resident in the all india institute of medical sciences uh, rivalry okay great great accomplishment and beautiful journey all top class institutes and a great history and uh, the idea of doing critical care medicine when it started and why do you want to do it what inspired you to do it uh, actually sir when i was pursuing my uh, md so at rml there's a very good exposure of icu so we used to be posted in the icus like for for approximately a week every month and uh, the case load was extremely high and the quality of patients that were there were also extremely high and we had almost state of the art techniques there so uh, that got me very intrigued about the critical care medicine as a specialty and uh, it was then that i decided in my approximately first or second year of md that i want to pursue this uh, in the future so hence i started my preparation process very good doctor great now can we know uh, what all you did and what are your preparation strategies happen that to achieve this rank uh during my md sir we were more inclined for the exams per se so critical care medicine was always in the at the background it was more about uh, studying anesthesia for the exams but uh, after i was done with my md my prime focus was to study about critical care medicine and thankfully i joined and the this institute of this all india institute of medical sciences at rayburi really here even the icu exposure is extremely extremely good and uh, the quality of cases that we get here is also very good and uh, it is then that i somehow streamlined my preparation i joined speed and i did not know how to start where to go about so i joined speed institute and i i focused primarily on the videos in speed app and uh, i i made it a point to revise all the videos at least two to three times and, uh, although there was barely any time left for studying uh, almost two hours every day that was also a very big possibility at times because of the hectic schedule but uh, whatever time i could take it out at hand i used to uh, invest that time into watching the videos and uh, i also made my notes little bit of notes but mostly it was the videos and uh, the Uh, clinical exposure that was there great now how many number of questions you answer i left only three questions sir. okay so maximum number of questions you answer yes sir okay what will be your advice for the future aspirants of uh, critical care medicine because you have undergone a journey the preparatory mode you would have felt okay this i should tell when somebody is going to prepare this i want to tell them what is that that you want to tell someone uh the only thing that i would like to emphasize upon is that people tend to uh, go about for a lot of sources uh, they tend to delve into a lot of information they want to uh, get grab information from every possible source which is not required from the exam point of view uh, learning for your own knowledge is absolutely fine but for exam point of view stick to one source and revision is the most important uh, if you're you know if you're in uh, incorporating information from all the sources but you're not revising them it is of no use absolutely so i i would say that stick to one source whatever you are doing be it a book be it an app whatever it is stick to that source and revise it as many number of times as possible because right. there were direct questions which uh, i had just brushed up one or two days before the exams and they were there in that very language so i think revision is the key sir. revision is the absolute key. okay so what happens if they make multiple things they were difficult to revise that's what you're trying to tell exactly there's a lot of confusion having studied from a lot of sources but not revising them tends to uh, lead you to a lot of confusion because uh, direct answers like straight from the active memory will be very very direct, direct questions will be very very much nice. most of the questions will be answered from passive memory only so if revision is is good passive memory will lead you to the right answer now the trend is that way actually people want to 
because it's available to want to have i did the same mistake in my md preparation i used a lot of sources but uh, thereafter i realized that it is not the way to prepare for an exam no time to thank whom all you want to thank they helped you from day one till date have built your career you can do so using this platform i first of all i would like to thank my entire family for bearing with me uh, i have not been available for them uh, be it in good or bad i was barely there at home but apart from that i would really really ex- like to send my sincerest of thanks to dr bagan bairappa sir uh, his lectures have been the paramount of my preparation and uh, i cannot thank him enough and also dr nazim magul ma'am because uh, the latter part of my preparation were all from the uh, live sessions that she had conducted so her sessions were also immensely immensely fruitful for me so these two are the prime faculties of speed that i would really like to send my heart felt thanks very good doctor once again we want to congratulate you wish you all the very best and a great success ahead in your career of critical care medicine and dm best wishes to you doctor thank you so very much thank, thank you, you.